small fringe minority of people who are on their way to Ottawa or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views uh, that they're expressing do not represent the views of Canadians. Everybody. It's shocking. Uh, this is not about truckers exclusively. There's people from all political spectrums. People left, right, libertarian, it doesn't matter. There's people from all cultures. Everybody is fed up with the divisiveness. I mean, the majority of people actually do support uh, mandates and whatnot. You've seen many polls, I'm sure, uh, from the Angus Reid Institute, the Lager Institute, any of those polling companies, they show that two-thirds to three-quarters of Canadians support mandates, and that is still true here in Saskatchewan as well. The standard that I worked to in Canadian journalism for 20 years was not being followed. They were, it was as though they were Googling what was happening. Although the CBC is one block, it's on Spark Street, the pedestrian mall, right next to the Parliament buildings. All they had to do was probably further to walk to their car than it was to walk to the protest. And they didn't seem to be there. Now they may have been there, but they certainly weren't telling what was happening. And these protesters, certainly a hardcore group, not going anywhere. You can see them, they're shuffling, they're angry, they're shouting. Efforts to recreate the Ottawa convoy and its disruption are now underway here in Washington, in cities across the U.S. and right around the world. The federal government has invoked the Emergencies Act. The message had always been, remain peaceful no matter what. The police were the aggressors, not the protesters. I didn't think I had any more tears left to cry, but there, there really is. These guys are heroes. They really are heroes. <laughs> 